right, I'm here with Lee Elder. Lee uh, is one of the most uh, uh, influential people in golf and, and one of the great rags to riches story, Lee. I mean, you were an orphan at age nine, one of 10 kids, and here you are, you carved out this great career in golf. A caddying was a way out for you, wasn't it? Well, it was the only way for me. You know, at that time, back in those days, it wasn't anything else you could, you could do, you know, in the 40s and 50s. What else could you do but go and, and caddy to try to advance to perhaps what you might have been thinking about a Korean guy. Right. But I was not thinking about a Korean guy. I was pretty much thinking more about survival. Right. Okay, now I, I refer to him as one of the most influential people. I mean, you came, you won four PGA Tour events, eight times on a Champions Tour, and you are known, of course, as breaking the color barrier at the Masters. What does it mean now versus then, you breaking the color barrier at Augusta? Well, it, it really, <laughs> I think then it, it, it meant a lot, but I don't think it do now. No. You know, and I think, and the reason why I said do not do it is because, you know, all I have been, uh, <clears throat> I have had so many other people that have honored me. Yes. Uh, the masters have never honored me. The golf writers have honored me. Right. The, the, the city of, of Augusta have honored me. National organizations all over the country have honored me, and I've never been honored. Uh, by the Augusta National uh, Committee. Now, in '75, when you when you played Augusta for the first time, first African American to play, I read today that your news conference beforehand was three hours long. Yes. Three hours. Three hours. And the reason why that, when I first arrived at Augusta, I went out and tried to play on Monday, and you know, quite naturally, it was a newsworthy story. Right. All of the press right. wanted individual right. uh, time, right. and it was pretty hard for me to do it. I went out on the golf course to try to play the out on the golf course. They did, Lee, can I ask you this question? Can I do this? Can I do that? And I tried to practice it, and I couldn't. So I went to Cliff Roberts, and I told him, I said, well, I feel that I'm, it's unfair. I cannot go out and really practice get the ready, way yeah. Yeah, to get ready like everybody else. So I said, well, can we talk about the possibility of you addressing the press and telling them, to let me practice, we have a press conference on Tuesday, which was the first time that a non-winner had been able to, <laughs> to hold a press conference there at, at Augusta, which we did. We started about four o'clock uh, after I had practiced that day and it got finished uh, at seven that night. Wow. We talked about a lot of things, a lot of the threatening letters that I had received, a lot of things that I uh, had been involved in leading up to the Masters, see, because I had a whole year to go from the time I wanted Pensacola back to the Masters because it was uh, a tournament that ran concurrently with the Masters. Right. So it was a situation to where uh, they felt that I really uh, had uh, kind of ignored them because I had refused to talk to the press about some of the things that I had planned to do. Uh, if I was going to accept the invitation right. to play at Augusta, I had not accepted that invitation yet. And I think I kept, I think I kept Cliff Roberts on, on the fence because he could not freely tell the press, yes, Lee Elder have accepted When did you accept? Account. How soon before the Masters? Well, it was about uh, two months later. Okay. Yeah. What did it feel like being there that week and playing there that week? It was tough. It was tough because <clears throat> I could not really get comfortable. As a matter of fact, I stayed in two houses. Really? Oh, yeah. Two houses? Because, yeah, because I had received so many threatening phone calls and letters I was, I was that they, they did not want me to be where they had access to me if I wanted to. I didn't, I couldn't go out and have dinner uh, at, at the clubs and things really? around the country. Yeah, because they, they felt that it was going to be a, a threatening Racist situation. Threats. Yes. Wow. Now you integrated the uh, uh, 71 South African PGA. Gary yes. Player brought you over yes. there? I well, played uh, the... And the, at the heart of apartheid, what was that like? Well... <laughs> That was really frightening because I'd never been to South Africa because no other black had been. Arthur Ashe had tried to play there on several occasions and he was refused. And Gary, being the ambassador that he is, really worked hard. Right. We worked over six months just to get a visa <coughs> for me to go to South Africa. Wow. I had a good friend who was in the State Department, U.S. State Department. Right. And he said, Lee, let me say something to you. If you fly over all of the black African countries and going to South Africa, he said, you're going to be ridiculed so badly. He said, so why don't we do this? Why don't we make you an honorary ambassador from the United States State Department? You go to all these other 
uh, African countries, give them one day clinic, an exhibition, have a press conference, and the last one, and then go to South Africa. That had to be heartwarming, huh? Oh, very heartwarming. Almost every place that I went, you know, the advanced publicity was so great. Yeah. We started at Monrovia Library, went to Kral Ghana, even went to Kampala, Uganda, where Big Daddy was at. And man, I tell you, it was frightening there because, you know, you didn't know what to expect in Kampala. So, but we went there, and then went from there to uh, Nairobi, Kenya, and then into Lagos, Nigeria, and was accepted so well. Now, I'm going to go back to the year before you played Augusta. 74, okay. I headed the tour when I was a college kid mm -hmm. that summer, and there were about close to 10 African-American guys playing the tour. You better believe. Now, now we have one. Yeah. I mean, we're talking 36 years later, we have one, then we had 10, even close to a dozen, and so forth. What has happened? You know, during that time, all you needed was $6,500 and uh, was enough money for you to, to really put up for you to play for six months. A lot of them were able to raise that money and, could, and qualify to get their card and could come out and play. But to stay the long range, it was a little bit different. And what I mean by stand along rain, <clears throat> as more and more players begin to come on the tour, things got tougher. These guys were trying to take care of families, trying to, trying to win enough money so that they could uh, take care of their family and try to play the tour. You, can't, you cannot do that unless you have, unless you have someone that, uh, that is really sponsored you and have the money and the willingness to stay that, stay that, that time, to go, uh, that distance to go along with you because it was so expensive, even in that, in that time. Right. I mean, you still had to spend, uh, oh, I would say two, two to three thousand dollars a week. I mean, now it's so, it's so expensive, it's not even funny. And there's no right. way that they could get that type of money. I go to a lot of the colleges and I see a lot of minority kids that are cable, are playing the tour and maybe qualifying for the tour. But they just do not have Well, them. it takes what, eighty to $100,000 just expenses oh, yeah, per year easily, on tour, right? Oh, yeah, easily. easily. Hey, where, yeah, are, where are we now, uh, uh, golf's relationship with race? Where, where are we now? Race is very, very good. Yeah? Really improved. Okay. And I think the reason why that is because of Tiger. Yeah. He have, he have, he have brought this mixture together. What impact has he had on minority golf? Oh, great. Yeah? It is so many, so many more that have John that have started to play because right, of him. Right. And and it's so good. And uh, you know this the same thing that he has right now. It's going to pass. It's yeah. going. He's going to get yeah. over. It. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. But he has been so good for golf for both races, for all yeah. of the races. Yeah. Lee, thanks. It's a pleasure. pleasure Very good to see okay. you. Good all to right. see you.